get a lot of calls concerning the Febco Model 860 in the half inch through two inch sizes, specifically for the relief valve and the repair of it. Now, this relief valve a lot of times can seem very difficult, but it's really not. There are a lot of steps, a lot of procedures in how to do it, and you have to do each one of them correctly. So I just want to do a quick overview of those steps with you today and let you see it. So as you notice on the screen, I've got a picture of the unit. One of the first steps we want to do is loosen the cylinder before we re remove the cover from the body. Once we remove the cover from the body, you'll notice that the relief valve is an integral part of the cover itself. Spring comes out as well. The seat for this unit just sits in place on a gasket in the body itself. There's no thread and no special tools. Once we got the cover out, we take the cylinder and we can actually remove the cylinder and pull the relief valve diaphragm assembly out of the cover at this point. If you tear it out before, you could do damage to your relief valve module. To disassemble the relief valve module, simply unscrew both ends of it. There's one bolt that holds everything together. Now the key to this unit is putting it all back together, the reassembly of it. And you have to do every step. I won't go over every step here. We have these instructions online for you, but just some quick tips. As far as putting the seat back in, make sure you use O-ring lubricant to hold that seat in place. All right, slip rings on this unit are critical. You gotta have the slip rings in the correct position on top of both diaphragms, okay? The diaphragm itself, as you can see here on the screen, there's a specific way it goes into the body and then the specific way that it will lay back flat, which is very crucial. Again, slip rings and putting the cylinder back on correctly and then turning it over and rolling the diaphragm, the main diaphragm back and using the bevel of that diaphragm in place correctly. Putting the unit back into the body and then finally tightening the cyl cylinder up on the relief valve cover. Just remember that this seems to be a lot of moving parts in, in working on this relief valve. But if you follow the steps, step-by-step -step procedures, by those procedures, you should have no problem at all. If you like this video and you want to see other videos and other repairs, please visit our website at backflowparts.com.